I know we all went through a lot of struggles and challenges through our practices in yoga especially and uh, we done a lot of uh, courses, workshops, uh, retreats and meditation programs, podcast programs, a lot of things. We went through a lot of things. Uh, it's My story begins actually at the age of 15 with my grandfather and I was more interested in science and spirituality. I just I just want to consume more and more knowledge. I was more interested into that. So I meet a lot of amazing spiritual masters in that zone. And I've been started traveling different regions in India to gain this knowledge and wisdom. And my father was completely against to that because he wanted to make me an engineer because those periods yoga is not that much popular as it is now. So he was trying to refocus to push me to a different zone, but my heart was not allowing to do it. And I went through a lot of challenges and struggles and I when I came out of that you know zone when I was in ashrams when I was with the spiritual masters I was okay I'm calm relaxed and peaceful zone when I came out it's a problem starts I don't know how to deal with that I was I was just I know meditation I don't know how to speak in English even because I was more into science spirituality and more studying about you know the Sanskrit my first language is not even English so I had a really a tremendous struggles in my life and challenge but one thing was interesting through that journey the yogic science is really helps me it's not about just to you know we think like okay we do a headstand then this makes me peaceful or if I do a meditation it makes me peaceful yes of course it will mix but the it's a reality is we live in this dramatic you know fast-paced world and we daily life we're facing a lot of challenges and struggles and you know to to overcome that we need that kind of willpower and kind of training and I'm really thankful to all my spiritual master they really design me in a way such as if something happened near to me still I feel like calm relaxed and peaceful because they they train me in a way it's not just like a topic or subject they train me in a way like a it's like a you know life process it's like a journey and it's become a lifestyle of me and that's the reason uh, you know people look at me uh, even my friends and family everybody look at me like like a surprise because they have no idea how it's happening to me now uh, those people uh, when I started yoga as a full-time job so everybody said oh it's not going to work don't uh, don't do foolish things it's not going to work you know you work somewhere then you do as a part-time but my heart was not allowed so I took it as a full time at the same time uh, like it's it's a it's a learning process for me to implement that science practically in my day-to-day -day life so it's like you know it's it's very really interesting journey so when I look back now after six seven years when I'm teaching and sharing this wisdom with the world I I, I, I got a chance to travel around the world I got uh, hang out with celebrities sports people and uh, CEO of the companies and I started working on different uh, top-class companies and five-star hotels and spas which is uh, I used to work and still you know the the knowledge and wisdom is given me to move forward much much to share so many people ask me how are you going to do this how 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 was your business strategy or thing I will tell you only one thing yoga you cannot teach with a business mindset you can only teach and serve to the humanity with a service mindset if you're not willing that so I will tell you're in a wrong place so it's not about business or anything it's you're dealing with the human beings and you have to train and uplift their living beings your inner cause and beings to go higher level it's not about just money and business or anything the first of all things is it's we have we gathered a lot of informations in our life but the main thing is we never implement in our personal life so that is a, the main thing so that's the in that in that area I really thankful to my spiritual masters which I've been studied science and spirituality in yoga science from since childhood at the age of 15 now I'm going to be 31 so this is a long period around 11 years I've been in that zone to studying uh, and you know the you know it's sharing with the world I'm really enjoying so many people told me, why don't you write a blog why don't you take a video and put share to the world this wisdom because when I when I came out of 
from my spiritual masters. So what happened is when I started teaching, many other people start telling, oh, your you, your teaching is something different. You you your teaching is something very deep rooted in ancient um, in a yogic science. Uh, what is the secret behind it? There is no secret. But when I came out, when I start checking other studios, other teachers, other uh, books, and this all stuff, then I understand it's something different. It's it's something completely mind blowing. It was like eye opening to me. So this is something really done my my masters. It's I am very I have a lot of gratitude towards them. I thought this is not just stay with me. It should goes to the world. So I thought. I have to do something. So when I spoke to my one of the uh, student, and she said, "Okay, Vishnu, we can do something with the. Uh, we start a website like Yogic Minds. So then you start to share your wisdom with the world, and it will be really useful for, you know, all the teachers, and which is they are really struggling in this period. Especially they have to balance. It's a big challenge. They have to balance this. The material life and spiritual life is not only yoga teachers that's what the world is facing now and because i faced when i came out of from ashrams i faced that too. it it's a really a difficult time to balance that but my teachers is centered me and bring me back in stabilize me and grounded me to deal with that all issues and i really every single moment is only the joy and bliss you can feel it the thing is the major thing is we think is meditation or yoga practice is just one hour or two hours you're doing in a studio in reality after the class is the real practice starts every single moment you are in a meditative state every single things every asanas you practice every poses you you know you know the way you take it inside because it's an inside journey it's not something to do with outside okay so once your inner world automatically transform its reflex automatically to the outer world and every challenge become easy and you deal with very very easy like you know it's very peacefully and you understand the meaning of life is it's not just why we born and we just leave for a few days and we work hard gain money get married and make children and die on day for what so the yogic sciences gives me a life purpose to to elevate and exhilarate uh, the higher consciousness so that's what i'm excited to share with everybody so i wish you will enjoy this journey and i want to be everybody to participate to to enjoy this wisdom so and we will see you soon okay thank you bye bye